Good morning, grade 5. Welcome to the English class. In our English reader, we learned a chapter, A Visit to the Kaziranga. In that chapter, we talked about the one-horned Indian rhino and a few endangered and extinct species on Earth. Have you heard about global warming? What do you mean by that? Global warming is the increase in the average temperature on the Earth's surface due to deforestation and pollution caused by various human activities. So what are the effects of global warming? Due to global warming, the glaciers are melting and because of it, the sea levels are rising, the rainforests are disappearing and the wildlife is scrambling. So today, we are going to learn a chapter, chapter 7, it's called Jewels of the Ocean and this is about how global warming affects some of the world's most beautiful islands which are blessed with scenic beauty, flora and fauna. So let's read the chapter, all of you please turn to page number 41 in your English workbook. So let's read the chapter, please listen carefully. Islands that rise up in the middle of the sea and attract thousands of holiday makers with their scenic beauty are indeed the jewels of the ocean. Many of these islands today face the grave danger of rising sea levels caused by global warming, which threaten to submerge them in the ocean forever. So because of global warming, the icebergs, the glaciers are all melting and because of it, the sea levels are rising. And these islands, some of the most beautiful islands in the world are at the grave danger or are at a risk of getting submerged or disappearing forever into the oceans. And why do they say these islands are jewels of the ocean? Because these islands are blessed with scenic beauty, flora and fauna and wonderful ecosystems. So let's read about a few of these islands. So here are brief descriptions about some of these islands. So the first one is Cook Islands. So these islands were first discovered by Thomas Cook and hence the name. So these islands are located halfway between New Zealand and Hawaii. This chain of 15 islands is known for the deep blue lagoons, coral atolls and volcanoes. So Cook Islands is part of an archipelago. Archipelago means a group of islands and it is situated between New Zealand and Hawaii and these are a group of 15 islands and these are blessed with beautiful lagoons, coral atolls and volcanoes. And what do you mean by coral? Coral is a hard skeleton left behind some marine organisms called polyps. Sometimes these corals form a larger structure called a reef or an atoll. So an atoll is an island formed by a ring shaped coral reef and it encircles or it encloses a lagoon within. So these Cook Islands are blessed with these coral atolls, lagoons and volcanoes. The Kakarori bird is a rare bird native to the Cook Islands. So you can see the picture of a Kakarori bird here and which is an endemic species of these islands. Endemic means a native species of these islands. You can see these birds exclusively on these islands. Island of Atiyu is a haven for bird watchers. It is also called Enuva Manu, which means island of birds in the native language. So the island of Atiyu is the third largest and the most visited among the Cook Islands. Uh, it is home to a great variety of bird species and hence it is a paradise for bird watchers. You can see a few bird species you can observe in these islands. And this island of Achiu is called the island of birds and in native language they call it Enuva Manu which means the island of birds. The native people of Cook Islands speak English and Cook Islands Maori. So let's read about the next group of islands. It's called French Polynesia and this is located in the South Pacific Ocean. Tahiti, one of the islands in this group of 118 islands, is an island paradise with its rugged mountains, coral reefs and lagoons. So French Polynesia is also an archipelago of 118 islands. And the native people speak a language called Tahitian. Tahiti is one of the most popular islands of French Polynesia and it is blessed with 
rock mountains coral reefs and lagoons bora bora is also very famous for its scenic beauty now the fauna of these islands include the tiger sharks manta ray and the indian minor bird you can see the picture of a manta ray here these rays are huge in size but not as dangerous as the sting rays which can kill people see you can see tiger sharks here after the great white sharks tiger sharks are the most dangerous types of sharks in the world and they can literally eat anything but they rarely attack humans now you can see the picture of an indian mina here now let's see the next group of islands it's called kiribas you see the spelling the local language is called gilbertese and in that language the combination of t and i is pronounced as s so this is read as kiribas kiribas comprises 33 coral islands and is known for world class fishing it is also one of the popular surfing destinations around the world some endemic birds of the island of kiribas are boki kokiko kirismas sandpiper and lepros algerians so kiribas is an archipelago of 33 coral islands and it is situated in the central pacific ocean to the southwest of hawaii it is very popular for fishing and surfing here you can see a surfer riding or catching a wave using a board called a surfing board he will continue riding on the board till the wave breaks or loses its energy and these islands the kiribas is very famous or it's a paradise for surfers an inexperienced surfer is called a grom or a grommet and there are specific terms used in surfing there are many surfing associations which operate in the kiribas islands to popularize surfing now let's talk about the fauna or the animal and bird species of these islands some endemic birds of the island of kiribas are boki kokiko kirisma sandpiper and lepros algerians endemic means native to a place so here is the picture of a pair of boki kokiko birds and you can see the kirisma sandpiper this is a drawing of the bird and this is a lepros bird so these are a few birds which you can see in these islands now let's read about the next island it's called diu the beautiful beaches rich historical heritage and portuguese architecture of this indian island fascinate tourists from around the world parasailing boating and jet skiing are some popular recreational activities the island of diu is home to a variety of animals such as flamingos and the western reef egrets so this island diu is located near the coastal region of gujarat so the native people speak gujarati english or hindi so the diu is very famous for its white sandy beaches like the nagawa beach portuguese forts such as the diu fort and churches such as the st paul's church and people come here from all around the world for parasailing see you can see the picture of parasailing here so parasailing is an adventure sport in which people are towed behind a vehicle usually a boat while being attached to a parasail wing which resembles a parachute so diu is very famous for parasailing and it is also popular for jet skiing jet skiing is a high speed water sport you can see a man riding a jet ski here so the jet ski engine pulls in water and pushes it out at the back see pushes it out at the back and due to this force it moves forward now talking about the fauna of these islands you can see western reef egrets and also flamingos here you can see the picture of western reef egrets here and these are flamingos in groups now let's see the next group of islands they are called solomon islands this is a group of 992 islands inhabited by three main cultural groups the melanesia the polynesia and the micronesia so the solomon islands is a group of 992 islands and the first visitors to these islands divided these islands into three regions so they are called the melanesia or the black islands 
Polynesia or many islands and Micronesia or tiny islands. Snorkeling and surfing are the main attractions on the islands. Snorkeling is similar to scuba diving but it is mostly intended to swim near the surface of water. So the swimmers use a swimming mask like this and a tube, a breathing tube called snorkel like this one and they usually wear swim fins. You can see the picture of a man doing snorkeling here. See, he's using a diving mask or a swimming mask, a breathing tube called a snorkel and he's wearing swim fins. The Solomon Islands are located in the South Pacific Ocean and the native people speak a language called Paijin. Now talking about the fauna of these islands, the yellow pit lorry, Renan parrot and the Makira dwarf kingfisher are some of the birds found in the Solomon Islands. You can see the picture of yellow bit lorry here. It's a type of parrot. Now here is a Renan parrot which is another variety of parrot and here is the Makira dwarf kingfisher. Now let's read about the next group of islands. It's called Seychelles consisting of a group of 116 islands in the Indian Ocean. A majority of islands in Seychelles are made of the oldest and hardest granite in the world. So what is the specialty of the islands in Seychelles and where is it located? Seychelles is located in the Indian Ocean at the eastern edge of the Somali Sea. Seychelles consists of a group of 116 islands and the majority of the islands of Seychelles are made of the oldest and hardest granite in the world. In the recent years, these islands have experienced the worst coral die-off and the longest periods of drought as a result of global warming. So we have been talking about global warming and how it is affecting the beautiful islands of the world. So Seychelles is one of the places in the world which got worst affected by global warming. The corals here are dying off due to the changes in the marine ecosystem caused by global warming. The rare Seychelles black parrot can be found on the island of Fraslin, Maine Island. So you can see the picture of the Seychelles black parrot here. It is a very rare bird species which you can observe in the island of Fraslin, Maine Island, which is one of the islands in the Seychelles group of islands. And the native people of Seychelles speak English, French, or Seychelles Creole. Now let's read about the next island. It's called Maldives. It is the longest lying country on the planet and is particularly in danger of being submerged due to the rising sea levels. So Maldives, officially the Republic of Maldives is the lowest lying country in the world. It lies at the lowest mean sea level. So it is at a danger of getting submerged due to the rising sea levels caused by global warming. The Republic of Maldives is situated in the Arabian Sea of the Indian Ocean and the official language is called Daiwe. Let's read about the next group of islands, Fiji. Fiji, popular for its beautiful white sandy beaches and palm trees, it is known as the soft coral capital in the world. It is very popular among surfers. Rising sea levels and flooding have already forced many people to migrate from the island. So Fiji is an archipelago of 300 islands located in the South Pacific Ocean and it is very famous for its soft coral reef. You can see the picture of soft coral reefs of Fiji here and due to changes in the marine environment caused by global warming, these soft coral reefs are in danger. The rising sea level and the frequent flooding have forced people living there to migrate to different areas of the world. Fiji is a very popular destination among surfers and the native people speak Fijian, English or Hindi. Now let's read about the next group of islands. It's called New Caledonia with the world's largest coral lagoon, river valleys and tumbling waterfalls. It is a paradise for nature lovers. The island's barrier coral reef is listed as a world heritage site by the UNESCO for its rich ecosystem. The New Caledonia comprises of dozens of islands and it is situated in the South Pacific Ocean. The native people of New Caledonia speak French and it is blessed with scenic beauty. 
It is famous for its tumbling waterfalls, coral lagoons and river valleys. It has the world's largest coral lagoon which covers which encloses an area of 24,000 kilometers and it has depths reaching up to 25 meters. You can see the New Caledonia Barrier Reef here which is listed by the UNESCO as one of the World Heritage Sites due to its rich ecosystem. It is home to a great variety of marine organisms. So children, I hope this was interesting and informative. So as an activity, you have to read the chapter once again and you have to do a couple of presentations as activities. See, you have to do one presentation on global warming and also one presentation about the islands we learned in this chapter, Jewels of Ocean. So you can do more research about these oceans and global warming over the internet in the presence of your parents and you can send in your presentations through Microsoft Teams. So that's all for today children. We'll see in the next class. Till then, bye.